The game, sir, T1S, a wireless and wired, it's completely up to you, gamepad for use with your computer, your laptop, or your smartphone, which as you can see, the main reason why most people will buy this. Now, um, if you watch the channel a lot, you'll know we had the old version of this previously, which we reviewed and thought it was pretty awesome. And, uh, game, sir. Yes, sir. Post all the letters today itself. Thought they'd send us a new one to check out a while back. So uh, here we are with it. Let's see what they've done to it to improve it over the previous one and uh, why you might want to get one of these. Now, uh, opening the box, of course I've already opened it. I've had this for a while now because we've been uh, playing various games on our phone. Um, but I'll put it back in the box to make this look like an authentic unboxing. It's a fraud, I tell you. Uh, of course, in the box you get the instructions, which uh, apparently uh, are powered by Jesus because they're glowing. You can't even read it on the screen, but I can assure you there are instructions on there. Contrast disaster. Um, you don't need them. Uh, really easy to use, really obvious. You've got your game controller. You've got a little dongle, which is sort of like a Bluetooth dongle, but just for the, uh, for the game controller to be detected on your Windows device it also works on linux as well and you've got a little usb cable which can be used to plug it directly into your computer though it's a little bit short if you're planning to do that unless it was a laptop you can use it to uh, plug into some phones if you wanted to you don't really need to because it's bluetooth um and you can use the cable for charging the the game sir as well that's all good and well but really what is the point of of a game sir i mean if you're on pc you might as well spend the extra money and get a uh, an, an xbox one controller steam controller or a playstation controller so what is the point of this game sir well the point for me uh is it's a mobile phone controller primarily you just set it on on your actual uh, game sir to be on the android mode you turn your phone on you, you pair it first which i've already done because obviously i've been using this Let's hope there's no naked women on my phone. Nope, we're all good. And you uh, you just stick your phone in the holder, which uh, they've actually changed from the previous version. The holder was actually a clip on the previous one, whereas now it's, it's integrated into it and just snaps up. So good design choice there by game, sir. You notice this just slides up. But you just slop it into it. Slop it? <laughs> slop and slide it. This, this is turning into an erotic review. You slop and slide your uh, phone into, hang on, You first of all, you have to move this bit down here at the bottom. It's got another little clip that pops out. Forgot about that. You slop and slide it into uh, into the holder there. And uh, you turn your game server on by pressing the home button at the back. And the home button's a little bit finicky. Sometimes you have to hold it down a little bit for a second. There we go. And then it will connect. And what will happen is, in a second, providing you've got Bluetooth turned on on your phone and you've already paired it. There you go. A little bit of a vibration there. Everybody likes a bit of a vibration, and uh, it's now connected. My phone has gone to sleep, though, because it's uh, trying to save battery life. There we go. So this is now actually connected to the phone, so we can go through all the settings. Um, and, and that's it. And that's really... <laughs> it's simple, but really, that's the point for me. That's the point of this controller. It's a controller I put in my bag when I'm traveling, uh, and if I want a game on my phone that just connects the phone instantaneously and you can load in and be playing things. And because since the last review, we uh, upgraded our phone to a, um, a Motorola G4, which is, you know, I, I always use budget smartphones and upgrade them every two or so years, or, or when I drop them in the sea, which is typically what happens. Because we are using a newer phone, it's slightly faster. And with that speed, we get the ability now to actually play three-dimensional games that may or may not be emulated please please don't sue me can you guess what game this is i mean this is, if you if you were born uh, in the 80s or so and grew up in the 90s the fact that you can play this on your phone uh it while sat in an airplane thousands of meters in the air trying to ignore the fact that you're thousands of meters up in the air and potentially going to die any second uh, the fact that you can do that is absolutely amazing so look at this we just load straight in and um you're James Bond. And of course, you know, the Pierce Brosnan James Bond is easily, easily the best James Bond. Let's turn the brightness up a bit here. It's probably not going to be very clear on the webcam, but the point is, let's try and get it so you guys can see this. This is the worst camera angle. I'm sorry about that. But, you know, because, it's, because you've got a gamepad, if you try playing this, on your phone using the touch controller. It's always rolling about. Hang on. 
Oh, no, I've got slappers. Okay, we're going to have to slap him to death. Uh, 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 what a terrible way to die. Uh, because... There we go. We've got a gun out now. It's A button to get your gun out. I totally forgot. Um, because this is, you know, 3D games really require analog sticks. If you remember within N64, that was the big thing. That's why, you know... Um, uh, Mario 64, for example, you try playing that as well as GoldenEye 64 on a mobile phone on the touchscreen, you'll, you'll pretty much have a mental breakdown within 15 minutes. But using this game, sir, because it's got the two analog sticks, uh, it all works just as you would expect, and it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, let me just kill, I'm gonna gotta kill one more guy. Let's stand up. Sorry if the microphone is quiet. Let's try and get this in. We'll, we'll kill one more guy using the analog sticks so you guys can sort of get an idea of how it, it just works to a basic level, you know? It's, it's nothing fancy, it does the job. Strangely, I think these analog sticks are a lot better than what you originally get on the N64. Come on! There we go, killed those guys. So hopefully you can see that. Um, but yeah, so effectively, this game sir controller lets you play 3D games on your phone comfortably. Now we'll go over the buttons, I'll just take this off. Um, We'll go over the buttons and talk about how they affect things. If you want to turn the game server off, you just hold down the home button and uh, for a couple of seconds, and then all the... We'll do it again. We'll hold it down for a couple of seconds. <laughs> I don't know how many seconds. It probably says in the instructions, which we couldn't read because they were glowing too much. That's the problem with blessed instructions. So you go, hold it down for like eight or so seconds, and then it turns it off. So in terms of the actual buttons, it's, you know, it's your standard Xbox 360 type controller, really. Um, uh, X, Y, A, B, you've got the analog sticks, which you can push down with middle buttons. And the analog sticks themselves, uh, you know, they, they feel, they're not quite as nice as um, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 controller smoothness, but they, they're better, as I say, than the N64 little uh, stick with its little corners on it. And uh, perfectly fine, give you plenty of control. You, it doesn't feel like there's anything wrong with them. They've also put like a little rim on the top of the sticks so your thumbs can rest on it and uh, don't just slide off them. Uh, the rim itself is just a sort of textured plastic. It, you know, it's nothing fancy, but it does the job. You'll also notice that there's the, the, the same textured black plastic from the rim of the joysticks is on the edge of the controllers, and uh, the, the actual bit that you hold on to is uh, a lot better design or a lot, it, it, a lot more grippy than the previous games uh, that came out last year, so it's easier to hold on to whilst you're playing games. And uh, when you've got your phone in it, actually, it's surprising how well... I always forget to do this every single time I bring it out. When you've got your phone and you put it in it, it's surprising how firm it is. You could literally be upside down during your plane crash and completely unaware. You've got your headphones on, completely unaware that you're plummeting towards the ocean and, and about to die because you're playing on your game, sir, and you just, know, you just think it was extra haptics from the game rumbling away. Um, so hold on to your phone perfectly well. Probably harder for, for a thief if you're, if you're playing on the subway to nick the phone out of the controller than if you were just holding it in your hand, uh, looking at Tinder, swiping all the people away because you're in such, such high demand. Um, outside the actual general ergonomics of the shape of it, oh, actually, before we move away from that, one negative with the shape of the controller is that uh, if you're playing a 3D shooter using the analog sticks primarily, you do notice that you can get a little bit of ache in your thumb, so you end up holding it a little bit wonky. Um, you know, I think uh, if you were if you were going to use this for primarily your PC control and you're going to spend one, two, three hours in a single session, then the design of this would be annoying. But for your mobile phone, I tend to only play for 25, 30 minutes, an hour absolute max, uh, and uh, in that you know with, with those sort of time frames, the, the actual shape of it isn't really a problem. Uh, but then in terms of other buttons, you've got your, your two uh, shoulder buttons. You've got the two trigger buttons that can be used as accelerator and brake and they map to analog. You've got the uh, these two click down as well. You've got a start, clear, turbo and select. Uh, select is for selecting the different uh, modes. If you want it on Windows, you want it as mouse emulated controller, you want it as Android or you want to use it on an Apple. I don't know why you'd be playing games on an Apple, but some people obviously do. Uh, and then there's uh, the, the D-pad. And uh, actually, this is a really good standout feature, I think, of this controller. Though the D-pad isn't separate buttons, you'll notice when I push this, it's actually moving all the buttons because they are connected by a single 
plate, I guess, uh, they, you know, they, when they've produced it in the factory, they've just molded it as a single unit for, for cost saving. Though it is a single plate of buttons, because of the way they've mounted it in the controller and these protrusions come out, it effectively ends up being individual buttons. Obviously, underneath this plate, there are individual uh, rubber dome buttons. But what that means is when you're playing games like Metal Slug or a 2D platformer, maybe on, a, on an emulator or just a, a, an Android game that uh, can use the controller, um, you get really good control over your character. It's very easy to just actuate individual movements. Another example would be uh, fighting games you might be playing. Typically, D-pads are absolutely bloody horrendous on uh, game controllers. And... I actually think this, this design is fantastic. It's easy to push two to go diagonally at the same time, but it's it's also very easy to just press one as a single as a single action and be very sure that you're pushing down, up, left or right. Uh, so that was a really good design decision. I'd actually quite like to see that on uh, some other controllers, um, you know, like other higher end controllers. But one could dream uh other than that in terms of the actual weight of the of the device it, the controller itself is quite light but obviously it's got a lithium battery in it um so it's got a little bit of weight to it but nothing nothing ridiculous you could maybe use it to lift to, to build strength in your little finger uh it does get quite heavy by the time you've put your mobile phone on it so it's probably better that it's on the on the general light side it's slightly lighter than an xbox 360 controller i'd say um the, the well, it's probably about half the weight actually of the wireless Xbox One controller. So very light. Um, other than that, uh, battery life on this controller, absolutely fantastic. I found uh, I've only had to charge it up three or so times after having it. I've had it a month or so now and uh, the, the battery will just, you can you could play multiple hours a day and the battery will easily last a week. It, it really, seems like they put a decent sized battery in there and that's not really been a concern of mine which is really good for this because you know this as i say i, I literally just this is just chucked in my bag and uh you know you've got your phone in your pocket and then i'll find that i'm sat on the bus sat on a train or sat on an airplane or something and uh and i've got some time to kill so i can actually play some decent games rather than something absolutely terrible on the android store we can go and get some emulated games and have some actual gameplay fun and just relive our childhood which is quite sad really if you think about it but there you go that pretty much covers everything that you could want to know about the game sir i i wouldn't personally um use it as a pc controller though it is an option then it, it works fine as a pc controller you won't have problems with it it's got the rumble in it as well and windows will see it as an xbox uh, as like an xbox controller so it'll give the same rumble effects out uh it's better than the playstation 2 fishing rod say you've got a younger brother or you've got um a friend coming around you want to torture them with the non-official controller this is a good this is a good alternative to the playstation 2 fishing rod and there's no reason why you couldn't use this as your primary controller but as i say i would personally spend the money and get a a, a steam controller or an xbox one controller for pc for proper gaming on there but on the mobile side, when you tally up the battery life, the, the speed at which it connects to the controller uh, and how well it works in the ho and the holder design, how it all connects into it, uh, bloody fantastic job. GameSir, <laughs> strange company name. GameSir, fantastic job. Uh, I hope this review was useful. Anything I've missed out, any questions you've got, just stick the, uh, just ask your question in the, in the comments. And uh, again, I've done it again. Ask, ask any questions you've got in the comments. And I will endeavor to answer them as soon as possible. Don't forget to uh, look at that straight away whilst talking, load up, you're in the game. Don't forget to uh, click the subscribe button if you enjoy it. Check out other videos. I'll link to the uh, previous game sir review uh, so you can see what that previous one was like and you'll be able to see what the difference is like between this and the previous one. Uh, I will see you in our next video, which will be uploaded very soon indeed. Until then, everybody, thanks for watching and goodbye.